So on some of my previous videos, I've talked about drawing this little box at the top with a 30 degree line. If you're unsure what I mean, then if you check out the isolation at home video one about drawing freehand isometric shapes, then it will show you there. This one is going to be a perspective drawing. This lets objects look smaller as they become further away. I found one of the easiest methods of drawing a straight line across the top of a page is just to take the page, hold a pen, and then carefully run your knuckle down the side of the pad and hold the pen firmly, something a bit like this. Okay, so if you're careful, you can go back over. Now, that's quite faint, but nevertheless, it's a perfect straight line without a, a ruler. The next thing is, when I draw the cube in the middle, and it's going to come outwards to have the sides looking out, I'm going to put two little marks, just guess where you want them, and experiment wherever you put these vanishing points, it will make a difference to the way that the object looks. The next thing, I'm going to draw the front edge of my object here. And again, you could draw it anywhere on the page. I'm just going to go slightly left of the middle. Okay, just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to draw a line from here going to this point. Now, you could use a ruler. I always try to get out of the habit of using rulers. So I'm just going to ghost line from one side to the other. Like that. Same at this side. And it doesn't need to touch perfectly. It's just a general feel that it's going over to that point. Over here. I'm just going to do the same again. Okay, the next thing, so I've got the two faces of my object coming out. I'm going to draw another line here, coming straight down. So this is going to be two-point perspective. Another drawing will be three-point perspective, where we have this coming down this way, and that will make the object look as if it's dropping down as we look at it. But for now, I'm just going to come straight down. I'm going to repeat the process from here over to there. So hold the pen halfway up ghost line from one side to the other when I mean, you think you've got it right that was way out but never mind okay like that so this line on the top i'm just going to darken it up a little bit Okay, so I've got a simple box drawn in two-point perspective, getting smaller as it drops off to the side. In a previous video, I drew a picture of a, a ladder, which is a useful skill to have, and I'll explain why. If you look at the ladder video, that will show you how to split up a, a face to split the rungs of the ladder that drop down. If we were going to turn this into a building or maybe a product that's got an air vent through here, what I might decide to do is just map a middle point out here. Ghost line from one side to the other until you've got it right. And then I'm just going to draw my first drop down like that. A mistake that some drawers make is they just guess where these vertical drops will be. What we're going to do is place them properly. So if you start from this point here, draw a diagonal line that passes through that point there, like this, to that point, and then drop down. Repeat the process again. So I'm trying not to get much ink on the page. And now I've gone and split up my product. So assuming I'm going to round these off and it could be something that had air passing through so they're going to be hollow. The next thing is I'm just going to draw another faint line from one side here to the other. And then just round off these corners. So 
So I can do this bit quicker now. I think I actually need a bigger desk to draw that. My right elbow isn't actually resting on the, the table at the moment. So excuse the slight wobbly lines. Okay, so next thing now, I'm just going to look at this point as I draw a line for this edge here, so roughly so I'm turning the page ever so slightly as I look down this line and I'm doing two close parallel lines just to let you know that the inside of this has actually got a, a little curve on it. Next thing I'm just going to round off the corners a little bit. Okay and once I've done that the first thing I'm just going to put a small amount of ink just on the inside so just just to make that slightly darker and then I might darken it up again in a minute and just see how it looks I'm just using the thin end of a Copic marker here just to get a little bit more accuracy and less bleed. The next thing when I did a drawing the other other day I said that if we've got three faces on a shape then this one would be the light, the medium and the dark. So with this here I've got my light face on the top, medium here and then this is my slightly darker face. So I'm going to go with a light Copic on the top just like that the next marker I'm just going to go with one that's slightly darker and I just think it's a good idea to run the marker in the direction that the the you you've drawn it really. So I'm going to always just move my marker away. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just going to use the slightly darker one just for these edges here. So this is not a particular product, it's more just an exercise for drawing a perspective sketch with some perspective sort of air vents I'm assuming, or it could be a pencil holder. So the, the product doesn't matter, it's more the, the technique. Okay, so I'm just going to go over that darker one again. So I think in hindsight I've not made that quite dark enough.
because I do these videos just with one take rather than editing as I go. I was actually find it quite difficult to, to draw and, and talk at the same time. So apologies for that. Maybe one day I'll make a video where I film and then speak over the top. I'm just going to outline the outside now. There we go, so quite rough, but it is a two-point perspective drawing. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer. Two-point perspective drawing that's got some sort of like air holes, grills, places to hold a pencil. Doesn't really matter, it's more the process, which is the, the thing to practice. So if you've liked the video, then give it a, a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll produce another one soon. Thank you.